I don't suppose you could give me a sample of your brain tissue for study purposes. Ah, uh, students with brains like yours, you'll attract as many doctors as zombies. Welcome to class. Today we have a sped up, edited video that frequently skips ahead so we get to the payoff quickly. And the payoff is the destruction possible with mass void rays, fully upgraded and hidden under mothership, or what I call the 38 special, the 44 magnum, or the 50 caliber. First, we will be macroing up because we will need many minerals and a lot of gas for this build. Our opponent here on Lost Temple is Zerg. Zerg has an interesting build order. Maybe something's up their sleeve. Three overlords before they get a spawning pull. But that's okay. We have something up ours too. Six minutes into this, we don't have a gateway yet. We're obviously not using an army to defend. How are we defending? Well, with a dead giveaway for this build, I guess. Uh, photon cannons. We'll see if these repel the first Zerg push. Here they come. And there they go. Meanwhile, we're expanding into our natural expansion, and back in our main, we're putting in stargates. Once we get one of those up, we'll need a fleet beacon so that we can get more cybernetic score upgrades, and already we have the second attack. At this point of the game, we actually have three voids standing by. We don't know where they are. The pilots are sitting on their hands. I don't know what the word for that is. At any rate, they'll eventually get in here, and we're not loading up on cannons because we need our money for other things. We're using void rays here to help defend the entrance. And they will clean that up and we'll rebuild some cannons. Now we need at least six of these stargates and ideally some more so that we're not building one after another, we're building all at once because we need to build fast. The um, Zerg are going to hit us again, they're going to break through the line and if they add a larger army we'd be in a world of hurt. Uh, fortunately they don't. Right now we have the mothership out though. And we're rallying our void rays to the mothership and having the ones we have follow it. There's a roach that broke through and we'll clean that up. If they had sent a bigger army, we would be in trouble. You can actually take out mass void rays with enough hydralisk missile turrets or whatever. Um, but it's easier to break in early and destroy the production. Especially since uh, if you are spending all your money on buildings and and I'm macroing up and they're spending their money on army, they have a force large enough to destroy you early if they try. But this opponent here's name is Al. I guess those are initials AI, I guess. Albert Einstein? I don't know. Mohander, you in there? Is coming after us again and we've pushed them back, although not very carefully since we didn't send all our void rays at that little push. Could have been in trouble. Now look at this. There's our 38 special. Note how the Void Rays are following the Mothership because they are keen to do that. That's really not good. If they had had some real air defenses in there, they'd have picked off that Mothership. You might want to hotkey the Void Rays separately, keep them out in front of the Mothership a bit, but still cloaked as you go in. You need that Mothership's cloak to hide your Void Rays while they build up their charge. You can also use the Mothership's Vortex to suck up some units for a while and disable them for a bit. Without well, something to behold. Now we have 44 void rays under the mothership. I call this 44 Magnum. We're going to destroy a little bit of their main and then pull back because we really want to go in with the 50 caliber. But even with 44, we're practically one shot in buildings here. While we're waiting for some more void rays, this void ray is going out to do a little bit of damage. You'll note that the ray gets more powerful as time goes by. We'll freeze it here in just a moment so you can see that. This is a fully upgraded or a fully charged up void ray right there. We really like it when everything gets a charge. Some players will actually shoot one of their own units or a pylon or something to charge up their void rays before going into a base. We're just going to merely go on in again following shouldn't be doing that and if we aren't careful things can take us from the side since void rays can shoot while moving but mostly in a straight ahead direction if you're getting surrounded you need to make sure they're stopped and this base is about to disappear now one thing you may notice that points was a probe line going into the enemy base. We were sacrificing probes there and getting a little scouting out of it instead of shooting them ourselves because we'd hit 200 supply and needed to get rid of some supplies so that we could build more void rays. And that is how you get the upper hand in StarCraft II.